What's up friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix your Lenovo touchpad not working. So if you're currently experiencing issues with your Lenovo laptop, then I'm going to walk you through a couple of steps that you need to take to be able to fix this. Now, if you're currently looking at my screen guys, you can see the most basic thing that you need to do, right? So if it's not working, I would recommend the first thing you can try to do is to try these settings, right? So you can try to press the function key in your keyboard and usually you can press either F6, F8 or F10 depending on the type of Lenovo machine that you have, right? So as I said here, many Lenovo laptops have a dedicated button that will use to turn on those function that will use to turn on the touchpad and so you want to go ahead and try the function keys and F10, F8 or F6. One of these should work and allow you to actually turn on or off or toggle on or off that touchpad. Now if this is not working guys I want to walk you through a couple more steps or things that you can actually try. The next thing that I want to share with you is that you can easily go ahead and go to your settings on your PC. So what I recommend you can just simply right click anywhere on your taskbar here or just simply right click on the windows icon here and you can go to the settings right. So once you go into the settings you want to look for Bluetooth and devices. So just look for Bluetooth and devices on the left hand side and scroll down and you want to look for touchpad. You want to click on that. Now on the touchpad, you want to ensure that touchpad is actually turned on, right? This was the hotkeys that I basically share with you that, would, that you can use. It basically does the same thing to toggle it on or off and it's the same as using the function key F6, F8 or F10, you basically want to do that. Now, if you do this manually, like I'm showing you here, you can also click the drop down and see if this option is enabled, leave touchpad on when your mouse is connected, right? So you want to go ahead and ensure that this is turned on. Now, if this is not helping, you can try to uncheck this box here and then you can just simple click and reset this is going to allow you to reset the touchpad settings and gestures to its default settings there so you can try that now if you do that and still not working i would recommend try to restart your pc see if that helps if you're still having problems guys now you want to try this that i'm about to share with you right click again on the windows icon on your taskbar but this time go to your device manager and inside device manager i want to first recommend that you click on view and click this button here where it says show hidden devices. This is gonna ensure that you're able to see every device that could be hidden on your PC, right? So now the next thing is that you want to look for the section that says human interface devices. You wanna expand that. And this is gonna show you a whole list of devices that you can choose, but you want to look for the one that says touchpad. So in my case, it's showing ASUS Precision Touchpad. So you look for the one that is saying touchpad. And what you can do is simply go ahead and try to disable and enable. If you try to disable and enable, try to turn on or off again that touchpad by using the function key as a, and the function on the F10, F6 or F8. Try these and see if it actually works. If the disable and enable don't work, try to uninstall the device. So you can try to uninstall it. What's going to happen is that once you uninstall it, you want to restart your computer because once you restart it, it's going to reinstall it for you. Now, alternatively, if this is not working, you can try to go ahead and try to update the driver. So if you click an update driver, you can try to search automatically. People try this and sometimes it works. Or you can choose the option that says browse my PC. If you choose this one, the first one is going to basically search the web, install the latest version for you. Or if it could be that you have experienced an update and you want to choose a specific version, then in that case, you want to choose browse my computer for driver. So you want to click this option and then choose the option that says let me pick from the list of available drivers so you click this and you will find options available to you so you want to look for the different options that are available to you if you have more than one you can try to basically install the previous version that are available to you by simple clicking on it and then move on to next try these steps guys and see if it actually helps you alternatively i recommend that if none of this works it could be that your touchpad is faulty and so you want to go ahead and try that now you can always test this out because you have websites on the internet where you can even use to test my touchpad so for example let me go ahead and search for something on the web here so i can show you 
test my touchpad right you can try that and you will most likely find websites out there that is actually allowing you to test that so here are a few options guys that actually allows you to test your touchpad let's try the second one here from device checker you can click on that and let's see it's going to give you the option to start a test you will start the test and you basically want to follow the instruction follow the instruction and so that it will help you to let's say test your touchpad right so i want to recommend that you do these tests and ensure that you're able to test your touchpad if your touchpad is actually not responding guys it could be that you have some problem with your touchpad so if it's not responding if you're not able to do anything from this it could be that it's faulty but alternatively as well another thing that you can also try is to try to go to the official website for your laptop so you can simply go to google and type a lenovo touchpad driver and you can even type in windows 11 if you're using windows 11 windows 10 you can you can type that in as well so once you do that you can type it in and it will take you over to lenovo official website so you want to check the search results from google as well and see what you're currently finding so as you can see here if i type lenovo touchpad driver windows 11 i can find in the research results there and takes me right over to lenovo official website where I can just continue to just quickly download the driver from here, right? So you will see that it shows you the result, Lenovo Touchpad driver for Windows 11, and you have options here that you can quickly download. Here are some options here, guys, that you can quickly download, right? So these are the options that are available to you. You can quickly go ahead and download. So I wanna recommend that you try these steps. I really hope one of these solutions will really help you to fix your touchpad issue. And I hope that it is not a faulty touchpad in your computer, but just a driver issue, or you just forget to turn it on. So I really hope one of these solutions will help you to fix your problem. With that said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope this solved your problem and see you in the next video.